Welcome everybody to my art room, Carol's art room. And in today's video, I'm gonna do a new technique for me. Um, split cup pour. I've done um, ring pours and uh, spiral pours before, but all in one cup, the colors go. This is something different that I just received. It's a split cup, so it keeps all the colors separate. Pours it out in a nice pattern. And it works really good. This is from Tracy Reed of Acrylic Pouring with Friends. She sent one for me to try. So I gave it a try. To, I'm going to give it a try and uh, see how it turns out. So stick around and uh, we'll get started. Welcome everyone to Carol's Art Room. Today I'm getting ready to do my split cup pour. I got my new cup. Tracy Reed sent me a new cup. She uh, has a YouTube channel called um, Acrylic Pouring with Friends. Tracy Reed. Anyway, give her a try and have a look at her channel. She does some pretty neat, pretty neat things. So I'm gonna give this a try, see how it goes. So I've got some colors mixed up. I hope I have enough, but we'll see. So I've got, this one is, I've mixed a couple of colors together. So this one is Deco Art Bronze and Liquid Text Basics um, Copper. Actually it's, it's actually bronze, Liquitex Basics, and DecoArt Copper. So that's one. And this is Baby Blue by DecoArt Americana. And then I have a dark blue, which is Prussian Blue by Liquitex Basics. And I have Cerulean Blue by Artist Loft Level 2. And I have one more, it's a green, it's Artist Loft Light Green with the, I mixed something else with this. It has a little bit of DecoArt Peridot Green, which is an extreme metallic. So it's a bit of metallic in this green. Yeah, so I'm hoping these colors look nice together. And I got my I got some white mixed up, which is some pro white and artist loft white. And these are all mixed with Floetrol and water. Alright, so let's start pouring into the cup. I'm gonna add some white. Uh, if I should add white or not. Maybe a little bit. Okay, so where am I gonna put these colors? Let's see how I'm gonna spread them out. I'm trying to go light, dark, light, dark. And I'm going to put white, but not a lot of white in between, just a little bit. I might regret this, I don't know. See how thin they are? They don't, they leave a little bit of a mound, but not much. Okay. I'll put more bronze on top. Let's 
So it's about a two to one ratio with Floetrol to and water, a little bit of water to thin it down. So that's that done. I might put these two blues together. We don't have a lot of the light blue, so. done. I don't think I'm gonna put white in there. I think I'll put, how should I put, the, I'll put the blue in the middle. I might put a bit of blue, uh, white in between here. Blue. You know what? I need to add some more blue. I think I need to make a little more. All right, so there's my Prussian blue. I'll just add. I'll just get a little spoon. I usually do, so I'll do. I'll do one. Two spoons of Floetrol in. Make a good stir. Oh wow, these cup these middle ones are 
take more paint than the side ones, I think. I don't know how many ounces this cup holds. That would be a good question for Tracy. I wonder if she knows. First time using this cup, so I'm not exactly sure how much it holds. All right, I'm gonna add this rest of this blue. Torch this, there's so many air bubbles. It's a small space to fit into. Hmm. But it's a it really keeps the paints separate. I did an experiment on some different colors. I didn't like it, so I won't be posting it, but I noticed how the colors were separated nicely. All right. Let's Well, looks like I got more gold than anything. This is going to be quite interesting. All right, let's do this. I'm not putting the base coat down. So I'm just going to pour.
I'm back. So, wow. I do like the colors. I love this blue in the middle. Not as much around the other side, but... Next time I'll make sure I have more blue. I'm gonna have to torch this, I think. Blue really looks nice with that bronze. I'm just going to go around. I didn't know whether to put a base down or not. Sometimes you, you can and... Just gonna go around. That white kind of got buried in there. Maybe next time I will put a base and maybe you don't have to stretch it as much. I don't know. I don't think so. Wow. At least my favorite colors are in the middle. Get this to come down here. It's interesting, holy interesting, holy moly. Maybe I should have spun it. It's too late now. Okay, I lost my paper towel. There it is. A lot of, a lot of cells probably because of the air bubbles. Cool, though they're double. I love this part here. Well, there you go. That's uh, actually my first first one that I like. It's actually my second, but it's my second one that I've tried, but the first one that I've liked. There. I like the composition. It's got the blue and the gold and the bronze in the middle. 
It's got the green, they look like feathers. Really pretty. And this, I love the effect it gives. Wow. And up there too. Very nice. I like it. I'm happy with this one. It makes a big difference if you like your colors that go together well. Anyway, so there you go. There's my split cup. And it definitely takes some practice. Thanks for watching and have a good day, everybody. Come back to Carol's Art Room. Bye-bye. Hey, everybody. Here's my dried split cup pour. Wow, this is a uh, shiny uh, copper in there. I like how the lines look feathery over there. They almost look like peacock feathers. And the down here also. Uh, cells in, in the center of the cells. It's very cool. I love it. It's nice and smooth, too. Have a good day, everyone. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.